I almost blew the most important meeting of my entire life. I was meeting with the Prime Minister of Australia at his house in Canberra. I literally had one chance to make a good impression and to hopefully get some support for the organization that I founded. Now, do you think that I dazzled him with my professionalism? Did I knock the Prime Minister's socks off with my slick elevator pitch? Of course not. I asked him questions about his dog. <laughs> now, for the record, his dog was called Buddy, and he was a schnoodle. But in that moment, I knew that there was something powerful happening, and that was that we, the Prime Minister and I, were making a connection. And the funny thing is, is that because we made that connection, I, out of a lot of the other people that were there that day, was one of the only ones to end up getting that transformational funding. Because that's kind of what we all want, isn't it? Connection. Connection to our families, connection to our friends. I'm here to tell you about the power of connection and how transformative that can be for you. Now, I'm the founder of an organization called Short Back and Sidewalks. Over the last eight years, we've positively impacted the lives of over 10,000 people experiencing homelessness and poverty. And we do that by giving free haircuts. Haircuts. Yep. Now, I cannot cut hair to save my life. <laughs> I work in civil engineering, and I am the last person you would want to go anywhere near you with a pair of scissors. But I know the power of a fresh new haircut, and I actually got one before coming here. A haircut to somebody experiencing homelessness may mean the difference between getting permanent accommodation or not. If you've lost absolutely everything, that is a pretty big deal. The first person to ever get a haircut with short back and sidewalks was a chap called Godfrey. And he was going for a potentially life-changing job interview the next day. Think about it. That moment when you get a fresh haircut. You stand taller, your confidence is up. We give people free haircuts. They come along, they leave, and the job's done, right? Wrong. It's much more than just a haircut. Hairdressers and barbers are the accidental counselors of society. We literally put our heads in their hands and tell them some of our deepest thoughts and feelings. Short back and sidewalks and the service that it gives makes sure that people feel truly included for who they are. It is a very powerful thing. However, true connection can only be achieved when both people feel equal. I've witnessed how a single word can literally change a person's life. Let me tell you about Michael. At a short back and sidewalk service, whilst Michael was having a haircut, he was asked a very simple question. And that question went on to change his life. The question was, how would you like your hair today, sir? Now, what the hairdresser and the volunteer didn't know was that Michael had transitioned genders. And that was the very, very first time that Michael had been referred to in the gender that he now identified with. That was a pivotal moment for Michael's journey. I've witnessed interactions between people who were never, ever meant to connect. Let's take a trip to Arnhem Land in Australia's north. 
short back and sidewalks are there giving free haircuts. We'd put together a pop-up barber shop in the middle of the bush. A five-year-old Aboriginal kid by the name of Andre is sitting, having his hair cut. And I can see his face now smiling, especially when he found out that we could give him the haircut of his favorite football player. Andre is sitting there having a chat to a middle-aged white guy. They're both having a laugh. They're connecting on a human level. Now, what Andre didn't know, and to be honest, Andre did not care, was the fact that the middle-aged white guy that he was speaking to was a senior executive of Apple. In that moment, they were laughing, they were joking, and I'm pretty sure they were listening to Snoop Dogg on the radio. Regardless of the diversity of their circumstances, they were connecting on a human level. I'm happy to stand here and tell you all that the image that used to come to my head before I started Short Back and Sidewalks of someone experiencing homelessness was the image of someone pushing a trolley on the side of the street. Because stereotypes are powerful things. I've witnessed stereotypes in ways that you would not imagine. Some of the most horrible, horrible things that you've ever heard. At a short back and sidewalk service in Sydney, I was asked by a high-ranking police officer if the jail cells were going to be full of smart-looking criminals that night because they'd all had a haircut from short back and sidewalks. I've witnessed people be spoken to like second-class citizens, like pieces of garbage. I've witnessed Lord Mayors say that they will remove people experiencing homelessness with force, if need be. I've learned, though, that it's much more complex than that. And we, as a society, need to do better. I've met people that do not fit the stereotype. And I've met people that do not fit the mold. Like John, who works at a university as a lecturer, as a data scientist, who drives his car to a supermarket car park where he sleeps at night. Or Sarah, who was the previous uh, successful businesswoman with a fleet car company who now sleeps in a tent 20 minutes north of the city. When we drop stereotypes, that is when we can truly hear. I remember a conversation that I had with my uncle when I was a kid. And he sat me down and he told me about his battle with alcoholism. He told me that he just wasn't like everybody else. He told me that he couldn't just have one drink. He told me that his one drink was a bottle of vodka or two, and it had to be drunk straight. I hope that that conversation with me and that connection with me gave him the opportunity to open up. I hope that it helped him in some way. I hope that it gave him the opportunity not to feel judged. Because these conversations do not need to be complicated. Because we complicate our lives with stuff. A fancy car can get us to the venue, but if no one's there at the end of our journey, then what does it matter? A new smartphone can connect us all to the world, but if no one picks it up, when we call, then it doesn't mean a thing. Tonight in Australia, there are over 123,000 people experiencing homelessness. There are three and a half million people that live below the poverty line. I'm not asking you all to go out and start a national organization. It could look like connecting with a family member that you haven't spoken to for a while. It could mean making some food for the next door neighbor who's lost their partner 
and now lives alone. It could also be speaking to the new person in work who doesn't speak the language that well. Positive impact and positive connections can change lives. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how you all will make a positive impact through a connection or a conversation because it has the power to change the world. And we all have the power to do that. Thank you. Thank you.